Today in this video we are going to learn how we can make DOL starter in which a selector switch is used. Now if we rotate this selector switch to auto position then in this condition this sensor which is connected with this through this sensor we can turn on the motor and when target is removed motor will be turned off automatically. It means on auto position motor will be turned on through sensor and through sensor only motor will be turned off. Besides if we select the manual position in selector switch then in this condition by pressing this push button we can turn on the motor and to turn off the motor we have to press stop push button. So how to make DOL starter by using selector switch I am going to explain you this practically by using circuit diagram. Now in this circuit diagram you can see contactor we have to turn on this contactor we need phase supply and neutral supply. This phase supply here will first go to stop push button. To provide phase supply and neutral supply I am using a MCB here. This MCB will be our control MCB. So this phase supply will first go to stop push button and then power supply goes to selector switch. So let's do this much wiring first. Here I have a stop push button. To the stop push button power supply must go first. What we have to do take one wire of stop push button and in this MCB with phase terminal connect this wire. If you connect overload relay also with contactor then to NC contact of overload relay power supply will go first. After that it must go to stop push button. Now in the stop push button wire connected with output terminal here take this wire and connect with the selector switch. If you look at the back side of this selector switch you will find 4 terminals here. You can see here 2 terminals and on this side 2 terminals. On this terminal it is written A2 here A1 and here 1. This one number terminal is common terminal. It means through this stop push button power supply will go to one number terminal of selector switch that is common terminal. So take this wire and connect with one number terminal. Here is one number terminal so with this terminal I am connecting this wire. After this if you look at this circuit diagram then here you will find in this selector switch there is a manual position. This one is manual position. With this position one wire is connected and to this start push button incoming power is supplied. Along with this at input terminal of start push button one wire is looped and power supply is provided to NO contact of contactor. Here NO contact is used to hold this contactor. It means after pressing start push button even when the button is released and contactor remain on for this here holding circuit is made. So what we have to do at incoming terminal of start push button connect two wires among the two one wire is connected with NO contact of contactor and connect second wire with manual position of selector switch. So this is my start push button on both the sides I connected two two wires. For now let's understand the concept of this wire. These two wires here this one will be connected with this selector switch. We have to see manual position of this selector switch. Meaning of manual position is if we rotate the selector switch towards one number side then in this condition power supply which flow will be for manual. If you keep the selector switch at one number position then in this condition power supply which you connected here that is power supply connected through red wire we will get this power supply at A1 terminal. So this terminal will be for manual. With this terminal I am connecting this wire. So here I am connecting this wire. You can see connection is done. Now take second wire of this push button and connect with this NO contact for making holding circuit. Now in this start push button two wires are connected at output terminals. Where to connect these? Listen carefully. In this circuit diagram here we can see that from output terminal of start push button power supply is going to A1 terminal of contactor and second wire is going to NO contact of contactor. It means in this NO contact one wire will be connected at output terminal and second wire will be connected at A1 terminal of contactor. So I am doing the connection here. First of all take one wire and connect with this NO contact. Now take second wire and with this A1 terminal of contactor you can see here A1 is written. So with this terminal connect this wire directly in this way. Now to operate this contactor we have to provide neutral power supply also. So for this I am using a wire. Take one end of this wire and in this MCB at neutral point connect this wire. Now other end of this wire will be used to provide neutral power supply to this contactor. We have to provide neutral power supply at A2 terminal. So connect this wire here. 
after this much connection if i turn on this mcb after turning on mcb if i select this selector switch at manual position and finally press this start push button then you can see contactor is turned on now if i want to turn off this contactor then by pressing stop push button i can turn off this it means wiring be done till now this hole is for manual wiring now if you want that this contactor can be operated through this sensor then auto position of selector switch we have to use this position so how we are going to connect this sensor let us understand this also this controlling which i am doing for now is hole on ac power supply we are doing controlling on ac power supply so i am using the sensor which works on ac power supply if i use sensor which works on dc power supply then here for converting ac power supply into dc power supply that smps has to be used it means your circuit will become complicated this is why i am using ac sensor here which is a proximity sensor and along with this this sensor is of ano contact i am using ano contact sensor because i want to turn on contactor if through this sensor i need to turn off the contactor then in this condition i must have used nc contact sensor but i need to turn on contactor so i am using ano contact sensor now how to do the connection of this sensor let us understand through the circuit diagram like here you can see in this circuit diagram here sensor is connected it means ano contact of sensor is to be connected with auto position of selector switch and other wire of this sensor is to be connected with a1 terminal of contactor for now the sensor which i am using here is two wire sensor in market you will find two wire sensor three wire sensor and even four wire sensor you can find For now let us discuss how to connect two wire sensor only so what we have to do with this sensor in the selector switch with the auto position you have to connect this sensor auto position means a2 terminal of the selector switch like here you can see a2 is written it means two number terminal position is this one so with this terminal this brown wire of sensor is to be connected here now take other wire of the sensor and connect with a1 terminal of this contactor Right now my wire is small so I used a terminal block here so with this block I am connecting this wire now with same terminal block I am connecting a wire through which I will directly provide power supply to turn on this contactor here I connected this wire take other end of this wire and at a1 terminal of this contactor here is a1 terminal so with this terminal I connected this wire whole wiring of this dual starter is now completed Now in this diagram here according to this diagram if we keep the selector switch at manual position this push button will work and if we keep this at auto position then through this sensor this contactor will be turned on now this contactor here is turning on or not to explain this i am connecting a fan here so i connected this fan with this contactor now i am turning on this mcb here after turning on if i want to turn on this motor then i have to select one number position or two number position in the selector switch i mean i have to select auto manual if i select manual position in this selector switch then in this condition by pressing this push button motor will turn on and by pressing stop push button motor will turn off you can see here motor is turned off on pressing start push button motor turn on on pressing stop push button motor is turned off After this if i want to turn on this fan through this sensor then in this selector switch here i have to select auto position in selector switch it means motor will turn on automatically for now this sensor i have there is no target in front of this sensor but when a target comes in front of sensor motor will turn on automatically you can see motor is turned on on removing this target you can see motor is turned off on again bringing target motor turns on and on removing this motor is turned off you can see motor turn on motor turn off turning on turning off okay now in this selector switch if i select zero position here then in this condition this push button here through this we cannot turn on this motor and not even through sensor we can turn on motor friends if you want to learn this motor here to turn on this motor if we select auto position in selector switch then in this condition this digital timer here through this timer this motor must turn on to learn this watch this right hand side video through this video you will get the whole knowledge thanks for watching this video